Lunchbox 2 match to United today. Football for Hitchens! Hi, it's Peter Guest and the Moose, and we're here for another episode of the footballpredictions.net podcast covering Bundesliga games for the 4th to the 6th of October 2024. What have we got, Moose? We've got a great match week coming up, and here's how we start. We start at Augsburg, who takes on Borussia Mönchengladbach. Leverkusen takes on promoted Holstein Kiel. Werder Bremen takes on Freiburg. Dortmund travels to Union Berlin. Bochum takes on Wolfsburg. St. Pauli takes on Mainz. Leipzig travels to Heidenheim. Frankfurt takes on Bayern Munich. And finally, Stuttgart takes on Hoffenheim. Yeah, you can also see the details for all of these matches that we're about to discuss in the podcast on our website, footballpredictions.net, along with fixtures from just about every other football competition under the sun. Yes, and on our website, it will show you where to watch the games on local broadcast channels plus video streaming services, as well as team news, match yeah. and match shots from local bookmakers. Sorry, yeah, and if you look in the description of this podcast... You can find direct clickable links to all of the matches that we're about to discuss. Geolocation and live streaming rules apply. 18 plus gamble aware. Right. Let's kick off with Augsburg, who are 15th in the table, who take on Borussia Mönchengladbach, who are 11th. It's on Friday, 4th of October, 7.30 UK time. For this game, footballpredictions.net provides your local kickoff time, betting odds and the available viewing options. One of which, of course, is Bet365. You can live stream it there. Use our bonus code FP365. Okay, over to you, Moose. Yeah, and we don't like to brag or blow our own trumpet here about our previous predictions, but we have to in this case because last weekend when Gladbach played at home to Union Berlin, they won 1-0 and we had that bang on with a 1-0 prediction. Augsburg away to Leipzig. Uh, We did say Leipzig were going to win in an over two and a half game and they won 4-0. So yeah, Pretty good predictions on the previous matches for both teams. But yeah, if we look if we look a little bit more into how these teams have gone on in the Bundesliga, it's been a very average start for both sides. Borussia Mönchengladbach with two wins and three defeats. Augsburg just hovering above the relegation zone right now with just one win all season. And they've conceded quite a few goals on their way as well with three defeats from the last four, and they've conceded um, 12 goals in those form across those four games. Um, If we look at Gladbach, uh, the last time they played away from home was when they uh, visited Frankfurt. They lost 2-0, a game that we predicted as well, because we did say that Frankfurt were going to win that game. So, yeah, on to the prediction for this one. Yeah, well, uh, it's a... Bit of a theme that there's a lot of goals flying around between these two teams in some of these late Indeed. recent matches. So uh, we've actually gone for both teams to score prediction as our main tip. Odds of that you can get at 1.44. But, um, you know, some people might say, what about Munch and Gladback for the win? But, yeah, they don't do too well. Uh, so they won't be glad to be back at Augsburg, I don't think, because um, they haven't won there in their last four games away from home there. So... Um, away from home, I should say, in, in the league in total. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, see how it goes. But uh, in terms of a correct score prediction, we've gone for a draw. We've gone for a 2-2 yeah. draw. 2-2, you can get odds for a correct score of 11 or 10 to 1. In our poll on our site, I'll go to the page in the description, 44% of you think Augsburg will actually get the win, 26% like Gladbach, and uh, the rest, which is uh, another basically... Uh, 30 odd percent do like a draw of which majority think a score draw like we do but let's yeah. see if that's uh, the possibility um and um if you do just like betting on a draw the straight draw it's um odds of 3.6 next we've got Bayer leverkusen who are up there in fourth at the moment and they take on holstein kiel who are 18th kicks off on saturday 5th of october at 2.30 UK time, visit footballpredictions.net to view the kickoff time, betting odds and broadcast streaming channels tailored to your location for this match. Bet365 are live streaming this one as well. You can watch it there subscription free and just use the, our bonus code FP365 if you are new to them. Leverkusen mm. have been doing pretty well lately, but Holstein Kiel not. 
<laughs> yeah, indeed. Holstein Kiel last weekend. We we knew they were going to struggle at home to Frankfurt and did they struggle? Yes, they did. They lost 4-2 in that game. We had 2-1 Frankfurt, but what it meant was we had a Frankfurt outcome with both teams to score and over two and a half goals in that game. So we were pretty correct on that prediction. Holstein Kiel's only picked up one point all season, which was an away point at Bochum. Uh, in the last game uh, where we had both teams to score as well. But prior to that, I think we all were aware of the battering that they received at home to Bayern Munich 6-1 prior to that 2-0 at Wolfsburg. And then the first game of the season lost 3-2 at Hoffenheim. So they're conceding an awful lot of goals. Holstein Kiel 17 in total Mm. in just five matches. That's over three goals a game that they are conceding. Um, In terms of Leverkusen, they had a great win Uh, midweek against AC Milan in the Champions League. We called that. We said Leverkusen were going to win that game, which means they're actually off to a great start in the Champions League as well because they beat Feyenoord 4-0 away in their first Champions League game and are now on two wins in that massive table (laughs) in the Champions League where they uh, are playing eight, eight, eight group games. In the Bundesliga, they had a good result last week. We actually had it down for a both teams to score against Bayern Munich and it ended 1-1. We, we, we did say there was going to be goals in that game. Um, we might have thought there would have been a few more goals, but at the end of the day, 1-1 did the job for both teams to score prediction. Uh, prior to that, the uh, previous home game in the Bundesliga, or the last home game in the Bundesliga that Bayern Leverkusen had was against Wolfsburg. We said Leverkusen were going to win that game. We also set over two and a half goals and both teams to score. And guess what? They won 4-3. Um, and uh, yeah, I think just in order to cap this one off, we had a very close, uh, correct score prediction when Leverkusen played at Hoffenheim. We had 3-1, they won 4-1. But yeah, overall, our predictions look pretty solid on both of these teams. Uh, and going into this game, I think we know what way it's going to go. The question is probably just what margin will Leverkusen win by? Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. exactly. So Holstein Kiel have have got no wins on the board. They've got just the one draw out of the five games and uh, have got minus 10 already. Only after five games, got minus 10 goal difference. Yeah, yeah. um, Which is never good. Yeah. Has to be said that Holstein Kiel, despite conceding a lot, they do have a goal in them. They do. Uh, and you know what? That's um, leading to our prediction tip, actually, I should say. Our tip for this one is actually both teams to score. And you get fairly decent odds for that uh, of two. So, yeah, that's something that we like the look of. In terms of a full-time result prediction, yeah, we can't go past by Leverkusen. And I tell you what, they're so heavily fancied here. <laughs> you can only get odds of 1.09. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's, it's pointless, really. Um, if you did think a miracle might happen... You can get Holstein Kiel of odds of 21, so 20 to 1 in fractional, which is huge. So, you know, you might want a little bit of that, but uh, probably a bit more realistic if you're thinking that way would be a draw in which you can get 11, so 10 to 1, so uh, massive. But we we think it'll be a Holstein Kiel win, obviously, um, and so does pretty much everyone. The correct score prediction we've gone for here is 3 1 2. Um, uh, yeah, to, to Leverkusen. So uh, did I say a Holstein Kiel win, a, a Holstein Kiel loss? Uh, so yeah, we think three one correct score, eleven odds ten to one, and um, we shall see how that unfolds. Next we have Werder Bremen tenth position, who take on Freiburg in seventh position. Kicks off on Saturday, fifth of October, two thirty UK time. See footballpredictions.net for your kickoff time betting odds and broadcasting streaming channels tailored to your own location for this match. And of course, in almost all locations, apart from Germany, you can watch this on Bet365, uh, live stream free of subscription and basically free as well, because you're not paying for anything. Uh, just have deposited something or have placed a bet in the last 24 hours with them. So uh, yeah, you can use our bonus code FP365 if you're going to do that. Now, this one is a bit more of an interesting, less one-sided game, we think, don't we? 
Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, two teams, a uh, little bit unpredictable, actually. We had a, a very unpredictable last week because Sam Pauli pulled off a bit of a shock when they went to Freiburg and beat them 3-0. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and um, in terms of in terms of Werder Bremen, uh, we didn't think they were going to take much from the Hoffenheim game, but they actually ended up with a 4-3 win. And that came off the back of that 5-0 defeat at home to Bayern Munich. Uh, yeah. Prior to that, Werder Bremen had won at Mainz in a, an over two and a half and both teams to score game. And then prior to that, they did pick up points against uh, Dortmund, Augsburg, uh, in uh, with two draws um, so yeah a, a pretty decent start by Werder Bremen just uh, one defeat from five uh, they're still mid-table with eight points however it has to be said that the they've only played five games and obviously eight points the only three points of third place uh, uh, Leipzig so it's not there's not a huge difference yet in the uh, in the top of the Bundesliga here. But yeah, for Freiburg, that would have been a very disappointing last week because prior to the defeat at home to Sao Paulo, the, they actually won three and lost one. And that one defeat was away at Bayern Munich, um, which they would probably have taken before the start of the season. So, um, yeah, overall, <clears throat> overall tricky start uh, or tricky, tricky last week for for Freiburg. Last away game, they beat Heidenheim 3 uh, nil. That was a that was a great result uh, from Freiburg, and yeah, this is going to be a, a tricky one to call. But yeah, there's lots of goals in these teams again. Like they like to both score and concede. Uh, hence, why we might think it could be uh, quite an entertaining but even game. Indeed. So we think there are going to be uh, quite a few goals in this one. We're hoping for anyway, an entertaining one. Um, and uh, so both teams to score is what we're saying for our tip. Um, you can get odds on that of 1.57 at the moment. Check out website for the, local, the latest odds in your local area. So, um, yeah, but in terms of the result, we've actually gone for another draw here. And um, a draw here, you can get good odds of 3.5 if you're that way inclined. Um, but yeah, lots of goals. You could probably also go for an over 2.5 and 10 because, uh, yeah, if we're expecting it to be 2-2, which is what our correct score prediction is, that's what you get. 2-2 as a correct score prediction, you would get odds of 12 or 11 to 1, so pretty high. Um, but uh, let's see how it goes. In terms of our uh, poll um, on the website, just having a look at that now, 25% of you at the moment think Werder Bremen will get the win at home. 17% Freiburg, so it's fairly evenly split, not much in it, just a slight favour uh, in terms of user voting for Werder Bremen at home. Uh, but the re- most people, uh, so that's the rest of them, is is 17% score draw, 42% nil-nil draw. So some people don't think there'll be that many goals. Definitely should be close. But uh, yeah, a whopping nearly 60%, 59% of you think a draw. It's a risky one to draw, but uh, yeah, mm. if you if you like it, then uh, then have a go. But um, we think both teams to score is your is your safest option on that one. Yeah. Next, we've got Union Berlin, ninth in the table at the moment, not doing so well. But Borussia Dortmund, who are in fifth, who are doing a bit uh, very well actually, apart from their last result, um, kicks off on Saturday, the fifth of October, half past two. Visit footballpredictions.net and you can see your kickoff time betting odds. Broadcast streaming channels tailored to your location for this match. Of course, it's uh, live streamed, broadcast on Bet365. Use our bonus code FP365 if you're new to them. Yes, and what's quite incredible here is when we look at Union Berlin, they scored just four goals, but they still managed two wins, two draws and one defeat this season. Yeah. Last week, we called it spot on because we said they were going to go to Gladbach and lose 1-0, and they lost 1-0 at Gladbach. Prior to that, we called them at home to Hoffenheim. We said they were going to win. They beat Hoffenheim. Yeah. Um and again, in the previous home game to that against San Paulo, we had another correct score on Union Berlin, where we said 1-0. So yeah, results and tips and predictions for Union Berlin on our side has been looking really good. But also, yeah. if we look at Dortmund, uh, including the Champions League, we did say that Dortmund was on, only going to beat Celtic 2-1. They beat them 7-1 in the end. But again, 
the COREX score kind of serves as an indication to what we what we believe also in terms of both teams to score and over under markets. And so we call that one uh, correctly with the outcome, the both teams to score and over two and a half goals. Uh, the previous home game in the sorry, the previous game to the Champions League match for Dortmund was in the Bundesliga. We said Dortmund were going to beat Bochum 3-1 to beat them 4-2. So again, we were correct here on the outcome and the goals markets. Um, at Stuttgart, we knew Dortmund were going to struggle. We said Stuttgart were going to beat Dortmund uh, 2-1 to beat them 5-1 in that game. Um, and yeah, prior to that, Dortmund at Bruges, we said 1-0 and the 3-0. And just to cap this one off, 4-2 at home to Hoffenheim, we said 2-1. So again, outcome and goals markets were correct. So really for Dortmund, we've had the outcome and the goals market, both over, under and both teams to score correct for the last five games. And similarly with Union Berlin, we've also looked very strong with a few correct scores in there. So um, yeah, and considering that Union Berlin, the goal difference is 4-3 over five matches, we're going to go for what looks like or could look like a narrow Dortmund win. Yeah, you exploded there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. So basically, that's okay. Um, but actually, you know, looking at uh, the, 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 I know that there've been a lot of goals scored in Borussia Dortmund games, but Union Berlin games is the opposite, and uh, we think they're they're quite they're very defensive because um, if you look at their, um, they're unbeaten in their in their last three home league matches, um, but they've also conceded so few goals. So um, in the last six games, last uh, league games. They've only conceded three goals. So we expect it to be close, but we do think that Dortmund will just have the edge and just have enough firepower to to win the game. But yeah, given the it's attack versus defense, really, uh, we have decided that it will be a Dortmund victory by just the one goal. One nil is what we've gone for. Now, if you do like that, uh, just a, uh, the win for Dortmund, you get odds of 2.2. So, uh, yeah, Bookie is expected to be pretty close as well. But we, we like under 2.5 goals for this because it uh, should be uh, yeah, like 10 men behind the ball. Um, under 2.5 goals, you can get odds of two for that. Now, in terms of a correct score, 1-0 is what we think it'll be to Dortmund, that is. So, 0-1. Um, and nine are the odds you can get for that or 8-1. to one. So, not too bad for those odds, I think. But uh, in terms of who will win, a poll, a poll on our website. This is not our our um tip. This is just what you think. Borussia Dortmund, 68% of you think they will come away with the win, and only 16% Union Berlin. But uh, a healthy 16% also believe a draw. So yeah, most people agree with us that uh, Dortmund will just snatch the win on this one. So shall we move on to the next game, which is Bochum, who are 17th all the way down there, playing Wolfsburg, who are 13th, not far behind. Kicks off on Saturday, 5th of October, 2.30 UK time. For this game, footballpredictions.net provides your local kickoff time, betting odds, and available viewing options. Of course, one yeah. of those is Bet365, and you can watch it there, uh, subscription-free. Use our bonus code FP365. These teams need a win, don't they? They really do, if we look at both the teams and their start to the season. Bochum, obviously, last season just managed to pull it off uh, at the very end in terms of uh, surviving another season in the Bundesliga. But will they survive this season? Uh, not with the current form, just one point from the first five matches. Uh, Wolfsburg, though, similarly just one win from five. Um, I don't know what they had anticipated of Wolfsburg before the season, but the one win has come against the bottom team, Holstein Kiel, um, who is in a very similar position to Bochum. So who knows? But anyway, Bochum here last weekend, they went to Dortmund and lost 4-2 in a game that we said they were going to lose 3-1. So again, we had the outcome and the goals markets correct on this one. We just covered Dortmund, so we knew that. Um, in terms of uh, the only point of the season uh, for Bochum, well, that's quite telling. That came against Kiel, <laughs> who are bottom as well. So we've got two teams here at the bottom of the Bundesliga. They got one point, and that was in the game against each other. Uh, we actually said that Bochum was going to win that game 2-1 uh, and then the 2-2, but we actually called it because we had the over 2.5 and, and the both teams score market on that one. Um at Freiburg, Bochum lost 2-1. Uh, 
And we said Freiburg were going to win that game 2-1. So, yeah, for the most recent predictions on Bochum, we've looked pretty solid. In terms of Wolfsburg, they did get a point last week at home to Stuttgart, which is not which is not bad. And again, it was a game where we had both teams to score on over two and a half goals. It ended 2-2. Um, pre- prior to that, in the last Wolfsburg away game, uh, that was at Leverkusen. We didn't leave Wolfsburg with many chances. We said uh, 2-1 to Leverkusen. It ended 4-3. So again, we had the outcome and the goals market correct on that game. Going into this one, though, Wolfsburg... Considering that they beat Kiel, considering that Bochum just drew Kiel, mm, what do we think? Uh, what do we think? Well, do we think Wolfsburg can do it? Well, uh, you know, I was talking about Holstein Kiel in the last uh, game uh, that they were uh, minus ten goal difference and bottom of the league with just a one draw, no wins. Well, Bochum are not far off. They've also got no wins, one draw, and four losses, and they've got a minus six goal difference. So. They aren't conceding so many compared, you know, that's in five games. So uh, so what we think is going to happen is here is we do think that uh, Wolfsburg will come away with the win and we think it will be uh, relatively low scoring compared to that. So we're going to go for an under 2.5 goals game. Odds of that aren't too bad. You can get that at 2.3. That's what we think is going to happen. Uh, for a, a Wolfsburg win, odds of 2.2 currently. So... Um, yeah, let's uh, let's see if that if that comes off. But um, yeah, Bochum just to you know put this into perspective as well. They they tend to always concede. In fact, they've scored in all of their last six league games in total, um, and they've shipped twelve goals in that in those games. So, yeah. and they also haven't uh, won at home in the last three league matches. So, not looking good for them. We don't think they'll they'll get it. And um, Wolfsburg come away with, away with the win. Correct score prediction: one nil to Wolfsburg. And you can get onto that of 11 or 10 to 1. Um, and uh, just looking at uh, the Wolfsburg win, 2.2 is the odds you can get for a, just a straight Wolfsburg win. Now, uh, in our user poll, so what you guys think, uh, that's on our website as well. You can vote there, just use the clickable buttons. The poll says that 50% also think VFL or Wolfsburg will get the win, and only 21% think VFL Bochum will win, with uh, quite a hefty. 28 percent 28 29 percent going for a draw so yeah it's obviously it's a battle of some not the best teams but uh yeah we we, we feel that, that Wolfsburg should be able to pull away and uh get the win so next up we've got St Pauli 14th not far away as well we yeah. take on Mines Mines who are 12th kicks off on Saturday 5th of October 5 30 is the evening one um, UK time that is. Visit footballpredictions.net for your kickoff time, betting odds and broadcast streaming channels tailored to yourself wherever you are. Um, you can watch this one live stream on Bet365. Do use our bonus code FP365. Sampoli came off a very good win against Freiburg. Yeah, they did indeed because Sampoli's start to the season wasn't too great apart from an early win in the DFB Pokal against Halisha. They then went on to lose their first three matches in the Bundesliga against opponents that are not probably seen to be the strongest. It was a home defeat to Heidenheim and then two away defeats at Union Berlin and Augsburg. Both defeats uh, away from home, we called uh, we called those away defeats. Now, the last two games, they picked up four points and not conceded any goals. Uh, the first point was a nil-nil draw at home to Leipzig, followed up by a 3-0 win at Freiburg last weekend. We did say over two and a half goals in that game, but uh, we probably hadn't anticipated Sao Paulo to score all three. Uh, so uh, yeah, that was a positive result for Sao Paulo. We'll give them a little bit of momentum for this game because Mainz has actually also only won one game all season. That came in their last away match, which was at Augsburg. They won that game 3-2. Uh, but that sandwiched in between two home defeats to Heidenheim and Werder Bremen. Mainz's last match was a home 2-0 home defeat to Heidenheim. Again, surprised us a little bit. Yet, um, uh, that was a bit surprising. So, yeah, it comes on top of uh, two draws at the beginning of the season for Mainz and it kind of puts them uh, lower mid-table 
And this will be an interesting one because Sampaoli with a win will go above Mainz and will have a little bit of air down to the relegation zone. However, no doubt this is going to be a very close game. Yeah, we like the look of this game and, and we also like the look of St. Pauli. So that um, away win, 3-0 against Freiburg, who are uh, yeah. up, up above them in the table at the moment, um, it was was really impressive and it looks like they might have turned the corner. So uh, yeah, we actually um, like them and mine's not doing so well, not looking like they're in great form. We think that St. Pauli will get the home win here and um, 57% of you agree. Uh, 21% think mines and uh, 21% think a draw. But yeah, overwhelmingly, uh, we believe St. Pauli will, should be able to edge this one. It will be close, though. Uh, and um, we do think it will be both teams to score for this. So we've gone for both teams to score prediction. Uh, 1.7 are the odds you can get for that. So not really high. But um, full-time result prediction, St. Pauli to win, odds of 2.38 for that. And um, correct score, we think it's going to be 2-1. Um, like I said, tight, uh, could go either way. But being at home, we think you know, some probably just have the edge. And you get odds of that of 9.5. So um, let's have a look at our next game, which is Heidenheim, who are currently in sixth, playing RB Leipzig, who are up there in third. Should be a good one. Kicks off on Sunday, 6th of October, 2.30 p.m. in the U.K., for this game, footballpredictions.net gives you your local kickoff time betting odds and available viewing options. Just go to our website, see the page with this game's on. It's in our description of this podcast. You can watch this on Bet365. It's being live streamed by them. Uh, use our bonus code if you're new to them. It's FP365. So, yeah, some kind of mixed form in the last few weeks, wins, draws, losses. But, uh, yeah, give us your analysis. Yeah, so Heidenheim... Again, we just covered Mainz and Heidenheim surprised us a little bit at Mainz last week. They beat them 2-0 and that actually makes it now three wins from five for Heidenheim. And they kind of stopped that little uh, losing streak that they were on uh, after defeats at Dortmund and at home to Freiburg. Earlier in the season, they beat St. Pauli and Augsburg, uh, well, quite convincingly. Uh, they beat Augsburg 4-0 and they beat San Paulo away 2-0. But yeah, their last home game, it was a 3-0 home defeat uh, to Freiburg, which was uh, yeah, a pretty big scoreline. Prior to that, they'd lost 4-2 at Dortmund. So out of nowhere, they conceded seven goals. But they managed to keep a clean sheet last week at Mainz. They do have an away game tonight in the Conference League against uh, Olympia uh, at home. So, um, yeah, an extra game in between uh, last week and this one. Um, in terms of Leipzig, they also had European football. They played at home to Juventus and they lost 3-2 in that game. We thought it was going to be a both teams to score and over two and a half goals game. We did think that Leipzig would have beaten Juve and they were indeed 2-1 up. But they conceded two goals right at the end. And he lost 3-2 in that game. Uh, the last home game or the last game in the Bundesliga was a home game for Leipzig. And we said they were beating, they were going to beat Augsburg in an over two and a half game. And they won 4-0. Last away game in the Bundesliga was a 0-0 draw at Sao Pauli. Uh, so, yeah, it's a, been a bit of a mixed uh, bag for Leipzig. However, they've not conceded in the last three Bundesliga games. Going into this one, the last game they did concede in was a 3-2 win at Leverkusen. And don't forget, that was Leverkusen's first, first defeat for probably as long as anyone can remember because they didn't lose all last season in the Bundesliga. <clears throat> so yeah, Leipzig was the team to to beat Leverkusen um, in that game. But yeah, overall, in Europe, it's not gone down well for, for Leipzig. However, in the Bundesliga, three wins, two draws. A goal difference of 8-2 after five games must be more than acceptable. Uh, and going into this one, yeah, we think we think Leipzig is looking is looking pretty strong. Yeah, and um, Leipzig, uh, along with Bayern, are undefeated in the league. The only two teams are undefeated, and um, they haven't been haven't been beaten by Heidenheim when they've played them away from home in the last two visits there. And actually, even better for them, they haven't been beaten in their last eight league matches away from home. So they've been really good in their travels, Leipzig. And um, Heidenheim, 
conversely, haven't actually beaten Leipzig in their last four meetings in the league. Yep. So, yeah, it's all pointing towards uh, a Leipzig away win, is, which is what we've gone for. Odds of that you can get at 1.67. But we do like as a tip um, both teams to score in this, and we've we've gone for that as well, uh, if you like, at 1.62 of the odds for that. But, yeah, we think it's going to be Leipzig all the way in this one, even though they're away from home. Um, correct score, 1-3. So 3-1 to Leipzig. Odds of that, if you like a correct score, obviously a risky one. Uh, odds of 12 or 11 to 1 in fractional. So you can get um, you can get that uh, at Bet365 or any local bookie you can see on footballpredictions.net. Just click the links. Um, in our poll, which you can also find on our web page for this, find that in the description, the link to it. Uh, you can take part in our poll. At the moment, 60% of you think RB Leipzig will win. And so let's go along with us and also what the bookies think. 20% think a Heidenheim home win and 20% of the rest think a draw. But yeah, we, we think it should be, uh, they should stay undefeated and, and at least uh, get a point, but probably get the win over there. So next yeah. up, we have got Eintracht Frankfurt, who are second. This is a top of the table clash because they're playing Bayern Munich, who are first, kicks off on Sunday, half four. Um, and um, that's the 6th of October. You can uh, visit footballpredictions.net to visit the, to, to sorry, see the kickoff time. Betting odds, broadcast streaming channels tailored to your location for this game. You can watch it on Bet365. Just live stream it. Should be a great match. Um, use our bonus code FP365. Uh, I, I know that uh, Bayern suffered their first loss under, under Vincent Company, didn't they, last night at uh, Aston Villa? Yeah, 1 0 defeat was a bit of a. Probably a bit of a surprise, a bit of against the play as well. But nevertheless, there was a 1-0 defeat. And that came off the back of that 9-2 win in the first Champions League game against Dinamo Zagreb uh, at home. So, yeah, it would be a bit disappointed for, for, for Bayern Munich. And also probably a bit disappointing uh, last week where they played by Leverkusen and uh, we had them down for a win and it ended a one all draw but we did also have both teams to score as the main tip in that game now Antwerp Frankfurt they actually started the season with a defeat at Dortmund which probably didn't came probably wasn't too surprising we because we actually called the outcome of that game we said Dortmund was going to beat Frankfurt however ever since they won every single uh, game in the Bundesliga and he scored quite a few goals on the way so after Dortmund, they beat Hoffenheim 3-1. What did we say? We said they were going to beat Hoffenheim 3-1. They then went to Wolfsburg and beat them 2-1. They had a home game against Gladbach, ending 2-0, a game that we also called because we said they were going to win 3-1. But nevertheless, we said the outcome was uh, correct. In the um, Europa League, they had a 3 all draw against Victoria Pleasant. That was a game where we had over three and a half goals and both teams to score. And then last week at Holstein Kiel, we said Frankfurt were going to win 2-1 and they won 4-2. But again, the indications here and the main tips were Frankfurt to win over two and a half goals and both teams to score. So, yeah, overall, we've been looking really good on the tips for Frankfurt. Now, in terms of Bayern, um, well, we called all of the wins up until uh, Bayern Leverkusen in terms of outcomes. But in terms of the goals market, uh, we had both teams to score in that game against Leverkusen. That's the main tip. Um, but yeah, then they slipped uh, midweek against Aston Villa. And we're pretty sure that that's a result that, uh, you know, Bayern Munich would, would want to bounce back from as quickly as they can. Yeah, absolutely. And um, being a top of the table clash, it'll be a great one to watch. Although, you know, just having a look at um, the difference between the two sides, you know, pardon me, first and second, but um, only one point separates them. But look at the goal difference, 13 to Bayern Munich and Eintracht yeah. Frankfurt uh, uh, five. So, um, and they have had the one loss uh, at Frankfurt. And of course, this game, um, it should be a beauty. So we, we think it'll be close. We think both teams will score. That's our prediction for this one. And you can get 1.44 odds if you like that. Not great odds, but um, also for a Bayern Munich win, which we've gone for, you can get odds of 1.5. So, yeah, both of those are quite low, really, which might mean you're, you're interested in something like the correct score prediction. We think it's going to be 2-1 to Bayern, 
um, and uh, we think they'll snatch the win. They tend to do that, especially once they've had a loss, which they did in the Champions League. They tend to bounce back. So maybe yeah. Harry Kane will get a brace. Um, we've gone for 2-1, and odds of that you can get at 9 or or 8-1. to one. So uh, on our site, the, the voting, you're up there voting for us now. Bayern Munich, 67%, a whopping 67% think that they'll win. Only 11% think a, a home win for, for Frankfurt. And the other 22% can see a draw. And you, you might see a draw here. I think that's probably another good one for our both teams to score prediction. Like I said, both teams to score. Um, only 1.44 odds, but probably your safest bet, you would imagine. So let's see. Uh, uh, head-to-head, there, there have been, uh, in the last four games, there have been both teams to score, including a couple of really good thrashings. I remember Bayern beat them a couple of years ago, 6-1 at Frankfurt. And yeah. uh, then Frankfurt returned the favour last year didn't they uh, uh, almost a year ago it was uh, 5-1 to Frankfurt so anything can, seemingly can happen in this game so yeah should be a, a great one to watch let's move on to That's Stuttgart true. 8th in the table who are taking on Hoffenheim 16th in the table that one's the evening match on Sunday it's at 6.30 UK time 6th of October on footballpredictions.net you can find your localised kickoff time odds TV channels and streaming services one of which is Bet365 which uh, you can watch this subscription free and um, use our bonus code FP365 if you are new to them. Yes, and for Stuttgart, it's been a bit of a mixed season so far, both in the Bundesliga and in Europe, although they've only recorded one defeat in the Bundesliga so far, but they have a goal difference of 14-10, which tells you that this is a team that likes to score goals but definitely also like to concede goals. Midweek in the Champions League, they disappointed a little bit against at home against Sparta Prague. It was probably a game that they should have won, but they ended with a one all draw um, in the first uh, Champions League game of the season. They lost 3-1 at Real Madrid. And if anyone listened in over the last couple of weeks, they would have known that we tipped that one 3-1 uh, to Real Madrid. But yeah, in the Bundesliga, uh, the last home game was actually won quite emphatically because that was a 5-1 win against by Borussia Dortmund. Uh, we said Stuttgart were going to win that one, uh, 2-1. Um, they won 5-1. But again, the, we had the outcome over two and a half goals and both teams to score correct in that game. The last uh, game in the Bundesliga was away from home. That was at Wolfsburg. And uh, it was another game where we had the both teams to score as the main tip and it ended 2-2. So there was indeed goals for both teams in that one. Um, early in the season, Stuttgart had a 3-0 draw with Mainz and then they beat Gladbach uh, 3-1 away from home. So yeah, overall, Stuttgart is a team that loves to score goals. Uh, but they do indeed also concede no clean sheets in the last six, including the Champions League. If we look at Werder Bremen, surprised us a little bit last week at Hoffenheim. They won 4-3 in that game. Uh, and yeah, overall this season, they've only lost one game, but they have a goal difference uh, of 8-11. Uh, so scored 8, conceded 11, uh, but won 2, drawn 2 and lost 1 in the Bundesliga. So that might sound a little bit bizarre. Now, the reason sorry i'm going off the wrong team here i'm really sorry i was talking about Werder bremen it's actually when it's indeed hoffenheim that is playing away to stuttgart so my apologies hoffenheim of course the like i said they surprised us last week because they lost at home to Werder bremen uh, in a game where we actually thought they were going to win in the Europa League, Hoffenheim had a, a score draw at Midtjylland in a game that we called. But yeah, prior to that, they had another three defeats on the bounce in the Bundesliga. Not great for Hoffenheim, who actually sits 16th at the moment, just one win from five, four defeats, and now on four straight defeat after that last home defeat to uh, to Werder Bremen. Uh, we did call those three defeats, uh, both at Union Berlin, at, at home to Leverkusen and at Eintracht Frankfurt, almost to the correct score as well. Um, Hoffenheim's only win of the season was against Holstein Kiel, who we know are bottom and probably the weakest team in the league. So going to Stuttgart is not going to be an easy task for Hoffenheim. 
No, it's not going to be an easy task at all. And in fact, um, that's exactly what we've said in our prediction. So we actually think it will be um, a Hoffenheim big win. We've gone for 3-1. Um, odds of that you can get at uh, 10 or 9 to 1. And in our poll on the web page for this, on our site, of course, uh, of you, 70% of people agree they think a Stuttgart win, only 20% Hoffenheim and 30% for a draw. And um, But our, our sort of tip for this one is both teams to score. So we do think both teams will get on the score sheet. Odds of 1.44 there. And for a Stuttgart win, yeah, they're very heavily favoured. They are really odds on. 1.33 is all you'll get as a return for a win. And yeah, that's that's how we see that one panning out. Now, uh, if you're just so you're aware, if you will be watching any of these matches on Bet365, geolocation and live streaming rules do apply. 18 plus gambleaware.org and make use of our bonus code FP365 if you're a new customer. Yes, and in the description section of this podcast, you can see the links to the games we've just covered. I'll just go directly to the footballpredictions.net. That's where you find the online places to watch the games from your location via streaming and TV channels, our predictions for different betting markets, as well as the best offers and odds. And if you're not aware, we do record these football podcasts for additional competitions as well as Bundesliga. And if you want to, you can listen to them all at podcast.footballpredictions.net or where you source your favourite podcasts from. Well, that's all. Thank you for listening. And for now, it's... Tschüss. Good day. I'm <laughs>